Okay, we got our prior customer whose family bought a house out in West Seneca and they need to get some work done to it. Uh, definitely a gutter helmet candidate. These gutters themselves have been, uh, there's been some water going in behind them. These are old gutters. There's probably, oh, close to probably 35 years old. So the overhangs, uh, we're going to address venting and trimming the overhangs and optioning out the windows. So with the windows, there's a couple of options. If you go with a primary window, then that means that everything comes back to where the old was, cleaning out the caulk and, and putting in the window. Um, so the new window would be the same as the old in dimension. Uh, and then having to replace the interior trim, which is usually considerably more. And then also you have the option to do vinyl, uh, vinyl replacement window, which is actually stopping at the inside of your existing sill. You take the sash out, stop at the sill. Everything's only built built in about an inch and a half to two inches narrower. Trim this out with aluminum, <clears throat> and you can get a wood look on the inside, but still have the performance, the high performance of the vinyl. So we'll give the two options. Uh, these windows, like you can see this, Windows got a lentil, all of them do. That's a steel part that's actually right up above the, the window here. Something did some moving here. We got a little bit of cracking in brick, but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. There's a little bit of a crown molding that's up at the intersection of the soffit and the uh, what we call our soldier course of brick. So that piece of molding actually comes down and gets flipped around and we utilize that to fur our J channel down that is going to span from the bottom of the fascia board that's under the gutter to the back in a level state. Uh, prior to that, you can see the vents that are in the soffit. So we're going to end up creating a full vented soffit system. So there's going to be a lot more air flowing up in the attic than what they have here now. I have not looked at the insulation in an attic, but uh, it's um, <clears throat> the the venting will help any. Any ice formation prolong the roof life, of which the roof is actually in good shape from the looks of it from the front. They got some screen on here, but some of it's torn out and blown up. And you can see underneath the gutter where water's been coming in behind the gutter. So we're gonna have some bad fascia here because this has been overflowing to the back. The, the electric service really should be looked at and possibly replaced. That's a bad wire. So we got drain tiles that the spouts are going in. And then we've got the rear of the house with casement windows. The same thing here. We can either go right to the brick or inside of the molding. There's an existing sliding glass door that actually isn't in too bad a shape. Um, we clean it up and get some, uh, they get some oil that you use at the bottom of it to uh, get it to slide better. <clears throat> so, uh, Looking at you can see where some of the screen is pulled off and you can see throughout sporadically throughout the house where water has been getting behind the gutter. It's got the old original it looks like uh it looks like it's been a painted black it's aluminum flashing at the chimney, but it's been painted painted black, so uh, I don't know how that is. I'm gonna go in there and see if we got any signs of moisture, make sure that that's okay. I gotta go down in the basement before I leave because the garden hose is leaking. I couldn't get it to turn off out here. So we're going to have a little bit of bad fascia to replace, vent these overhangs, put on the gutters, gutter helmet, <clears throat> and then set up for the windows. Now the thing about the windows too, if, which you, we can do this in segments, but the thing is, is where the window comes across here, if we got our J-channel supporting our soffit, it's going to be, you know, right at the bottom of that trim. So if they go with a primary window, we're going to have to, we're going to have a problem with our J-channel, um, you know, getting the old window out. If you go with a replacement window, it's going to be a lot less costly and and uh, that won't be an issue. And again, you have the interior trim to deal with. So we'll give these options. But you can see these spikes are pulling loose, so the gutter system's failing. It's it's served its purpose. Okay. We've got a porch ceiling here that's going to be trimmed out also in vinyl. And uh, it's about a 12 by 5 and we're going to trim this header out also with aluminum. So the, the fascia is a custom form of aluminum, the soffits is a vinyl. We can get them a color or stay with white, whatever they want to do. And then possibly look at uh, doing maybe even, yeah, we don't need to put six inch cutters on here and a five is going to work. Trim the garage door with aluminum and uh, that I'd recommend doing also. 
nice little house, pretty solid. So I'm gonna go take a peek at the, at the basement, see if I can get that spigot to stop and uh, get some, a couple of videos of the inside. Got a front door with a side light here. So it's a 36 inch front door with a storm door and a side light here. I might have a door almost exactly like this laying around, except it's a blue color. Um, I gotta check to see what size, what swing that door was that we got. See if it's the same. If it is, it's a special deal. <laughs> okay, let's go inside and take a look at the inside of the windows. Okay, here's one of the front bedroom windows where you can see this uh, this wood that's right here that we see, the, the trim molding. You know, it's in relatively good shape. Uh, and sometimes we can get that off and put it back on without it breaking, but sometimes you can't because of the age. And uh, so if the primary window's being done, that has to get either re removed or installed or replaced. If a replacement window goes on, it, the replacement window stops right here. You just take the sash out and then the, the new window will actually lay right in this opening. And this is a double awning. All of the windows are awnings and casements. Bathroom is a glass black. It's gonna stay. Looking at the chimney, it looks like somebody had done some, I don't know, if they did some drywall patch or not, but there was something done here at the chimney. So we gotta keep an eye on that. And in the garage, we've got a pull down ladder that is in pretty bad shape. Uh, we're gonna wanna give an option to replace that. The, uh, the faucet, I turned the main valve off to the back corner inside the basement. Uh, so the spigots need to get, these can be unfastened and Put a new gaskets in here and there um, and this one is off also inside the basement but this one may be leaking the, the turnoff that's in the basement so um so that's what's got to be done oh baby steps 